Hello, I'm Alex Askaroff and I write the Sewing Machine Pioneer series on Amazon and the On The Road series. And today I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful Beninas just before it goes up for sale on eBay. This is the Benina 600. Now, in 1960, around 1960, 62, 63, this cost nearly 70 pounds. Doesn't sound like much, does it? The average weekly wage back then was less than 15 pounds a week. So this represented about five weeks wages. Now the average weekly wage today is about 600 pounds. So this, what you're looking at here, costs the equivalent of 3,000 pounds. Why did it cost that much? Why was it the most expensive machine? Because it was Swiss because it was made by the Rolex watch people, by the musical box people, by the best engineers in the world. And that's why it's still here and still perfect. And this machine has still got the original receipts. Look at this. This is from Miss Hayward. And she bought it in 1963 and she paid 67 pounds. And over the years, she's kept all the different receipts and the servicing receipts and everything. And it's this type of detail when you're buying a machine, the original instruction book, the original box, the original free arm sleeve. The free arm on these are absolutely beautiful. The Benina free arms are, are very, very narrow, the shirt sleeves, everything slips up there so perfectly. But what makes the Benina special? What makes the Benina the best machines in the world? The early Beninas are incredibly simple to maintain. Everything, the, these lids just clip off, so we're just gonna wiggle this off. And inside here, you've got all the oiling points which they mark in red and the instruction point book tells you, but it's just the quality of every single piece. And the whole machine comes apart like that. I have thrown hundreds, maybe thousands of new machines away. I've never thrown a Benina away. Why? Because they just go and go and go. And you're, what you're looking at here is like a retro classic car, aren't you? You've got absolute perfect control. It's a small machine with a big heart. It will do thick work, it will do thin work. It's so basic, it's unbelievable. Zigzag, zigzag if you want, forward and reverse. It's so simple, it's unbelievable. Oh, I've caught the thread up there. But the actual machine itself is just an absolute delight. Here we go. I'm just going to take that out. And I'll show you something really interesting, whoops. Have a look at the needle plate. Now, can you see how worn that is there? She has used her machine regularly, but look at the needle plate. No damage at all around the needle plate. And that shows a very careful machinist. That shows someone who has really cared about her machine and is really good at sewing. And look at all the attachments that she's got. Not only all the original attachments, but all the extra ones that she's bought over the years. That's the embroidery, darning, you know, free motion if you want. And of course, this has got the drop feed if you want to drop the feed down to do free motion. Um, and it's got all the little different feet for sewing buttonholes. And yeah, these, these are your uh, applique darning feet for doing different things like that. And she's got, oh, piping, quarter inch piping feet, spare bobbins, roller feet. That's interesting if you've got any sticker stuff, sticky stuff for rolling, hemming feet. It's just incredible what she's got. And there you go, a perfect little machine. Look, and I'll just show you this at full speed. Absolutely perfect, isn't it? And I just thought you might like to see that. And if you want the banana of history, go to my sew -a lot site because it is right there from the first day Fritz made his first sewing machine. Bye for now.